Securing a relationship that involves neurodiversity requires surrender. As intimidating as that sounds, surrender is also what makes the experience magical and even life transforming. People in a neurodiverse relationship grow by challenging their fears, not by staying safe. You grow by taking risks, not by raising a shield. Two individuals get close to each other by virtue of risking themselves. So if you're going to find a love relationship that involves neurodiversity, you must risk your heart all over again. If you fear neurodiverse relationships because you fear getting hurt, you'll approach this relationship with a very guarded heart, but you won't be able to love either. The only solution is to stop hiding and to allow someone else in. I want to work on having a more open heart. But you don't have to do this all alone. It takes two people doing it together. Two people opening up, revealing themselves, connecting and bonding. Two people risking their hearts. In the end, neurodiverse relationships are about risking and bonding, not safety and protection. This doesn't happen every day, but when it does, it's powerful.